while since I've uh, done a video on here on YouTube and been kind of been wanting to do some again, but I haven't really had it. Had a good idea of how I want to go about the, the channel, I guess. And, um, stay motivated with it myself to do it and everything, because I just mostly in the past year a lot of it has just been I, I've been so busy with the farm I ain't got time to record stuff, you know. So, but I'd like to try to start again. So. One thing I thought I would do is um, try to make a habit of taking a walk with the garden cart. Yes, that's a two-wheel wheelbarrow, but one of these days it's going to be, a, it's a garden cart that wants to be a garden cart. Right now it's a two-wheeled uh, wheelbarrow until I get a garden cart that I really, really, really want built. Same concept, though. Garden car would be a little bit more efficient and useful and such. But um, I'll go around, you know, take a walk around the property and, and harvest and some things and uh, do some tasks and chores and try to record that um, on a regular basis. And that'll give me something to try to make a video of, I guess. I don't know. Um, that's a kind of a regular thing or should be a regular thing if I'm not doing I'm neglecting things man. But, um, so I'm gonna get that started and right now and you'll see I'm gonna start out, out the day or day with usually more baskets and stuff than this or containers because that's just always helpful but I'm gonna get started on today's uh, chores here it is here we go okay so I was going to um I'd had wild bird feed seed in in this can, and uh, somehow it got wet. I don't know how because it was inside the garage, but it is real skanky. But I was gonna empty it out of this and put it into that, and then use this as a um, uh, wood shavings container for a. A uh, compost toilet outhouse that um, I'm putting together back towards the camp on the back of the property but yeah so I'm gonna have to clean that out and just toss the bird feed I guess I don't know exactly what there's bugs in it too it's foul all kinds of bugs anyways so that little task didn't go as planned but get that cleaned out and at least I'll be getting something done with it So, uh, carrying knife of choice today is the Gerber suspension, uh, multi-tool. Of course, cannot do all this one-handed, but that's the only knife I'm carrying around the farm on me right now is this, uh, Gerber suspension multi-tool. So, just cut open a bag of feed. Most of them don't need cut open these days, but the cat food one does. Mm -hmm. Do them a little bit of scratch to entertain them. So this is actually another uh, another train. Not the one that was in the last video. I, I mowed a path around the mowed the uh, outside path around the house and yard and stuff. Um, getting on with my chores now that I've mowed the at least the path out. I need to do mo more mowing, but um, but uh, I mowed the path for now. The main the main path, whatever you want to call it. Um, so this is a little patch. Um, little patch in the corner of the yard by the uh, driveway that, that um, I planted some stuff last year but also there's like a lot I mean a lot of this is volunteer is what I'm saying there's I don't even know what all is going on in here there's obviously some sort of squash and um, tomatoes 
I think I planted um, a few peppers throughout here. Just um, dumped them in the ground. There's one of them I see. And here's a few right here. You can see them. There's a tomato right over there that I dumped in the ground. Um, but I'm going to keep, I think I'm going to keep planting stuff here and kind of build this up a little bit. But I got to clean up this mess in front of the garage. That's one thing I had to stop and do before I could mow in that last video. Uh, I got the wheelbarrow loaded back up with some containers and stuff that I need. So I'm going to go on around here and I'll stop the video video for now until I until, uh, get to something else. Talk to you guys later. Hey guys. So as I was walking around, starting my walk around the perimeter, I noticed some, um, some uh, fencing loose here. And, and it reminded me, as I went to fetch a tool to fix it, of course, um, it reminded me of a conversation that I was having with... Carol Thornburg from it's Redemption Homesteading or Homestead uh, about this being one of my favorite tools on the homestead my favorite hand non-powered hand tools oh I don't know what that means I still don't know they're definitely calling to each other aren't they I don't know what that means, but uh, I have six turkey, and I don't know whether they're boy or girl, and surely some sort of call. Surely that means something in turkey language. Anyhow, tool, and you know, as I'm doing this, and I'm making a video of it, and, and, try, and I'm going to try to make a habit of it, I'm hoping to uh, create some habits from this uh, this um, routine, I guess. Um, and like I said, I'm trying to figure out things to do um, and make things easier. And, lo and a lot of times things go through my head and they just don't get um, recorded, so to speak. So now they are gonna, they're going getting recorded as I do this. And, and I'm going to fix up a little bucket and carry tools around in the uh, garden cart as I do this. Yeah, no clue what that means. Alright, so I'm going to shut this off and, and uh, staple this stuff up. Talk to you guys a little bit. Alright, so there you go. That's what I'm talking about by doing this, trying to do this little series here. Um, I can maybe possibly get in the routine, get in a, a routine and get a little bit more organized because I'm doing it on video and I can go back to it or I can see that I'm not doing the things that I'm supposed to be doing or, you know, whatever. It's therapeutic. That's what I'm trying to say. So, and in a nutshell, what I'm trying to say is I got the uh, tool bucket to carry around and threw a few tools in there and I need to get used to uh, carrying certain ones that are useful. And eventually maybe I can make a little top 10 uh, homesteading hand tools because they'll probably always be in that bucket. Like, um... This is one of my favorites. This is a favorite. And of course, like I said, the stapler and pruners and all. I'll show what all more is in the, the tool bucket. The garden cart tool bucket. Soon to be garden cart. I mean, two wheel wheelbarrow is, is, is pretty good. But um, I just feel like one of those cool ass garden carts is going to be so much more pleasant for getting work done things would set in it better I mean, it's just be awesome so yeah anyways on with that another thing i was going to say too is what i need to do is i need to get some lathe strips because the stapling thing it, it, staples eventually pop there's too many layers of wire this or that and, and i'm not much of a carpenter anyways um so what i need to do is get some lathe strip and kind of frame the uh I think it'd be a lot more secure too so that's that's a project in the future look at mister look at this fellow i'm gonna love whoa listen to him talking to us listen to him hey look at this fellow right here oh yes so photogenic 
Yes, you are, Mr. Peckerhead. Mr. Peckerhead. Anyways, yeah. We'll listen to him talk. I love these turkeys. They're awesome. I still don't know, though. I thought the last batch of turkeys, which didn't fare so well, um, I thought I was able to tell what sex they were pretty early on. At least I thought I was, but I could be wrong. So now with these ones, I'm not sure what we've got going on here. I, I feel like they're all the same sex, though, maybe. I don't know. Or, or I feel like they'd be showing some sort of different characteristics that would be easier to, um, easier to, uh, well, you just kind of, you kind of mean to that hen. They mostly get along with the chickens and ducks. They all seem to get along pretty well together. Um, I need to dig this run out. That's something that needs to be done. But, yeah, I have no clue what these things are. Boy or girl. Anybody watching can help me. Appreciate it. Thanks. So this is something I'm wanting to do here real soon. Is And it's going to have to be real soon because these won't last long. Either the, the birds and animals will get them or they'll just fall off. But I need to harvest a bunch of these. And my idea is I don't do a lot of bacon, like, I don't know, muffins and stuff, but I might, you know, collect enough of these, I might, might, and I know, um, my friend Shelly, she does wine, maybe she could do mulberry wine, I don't know, I need, the point is, is there somebody here, I, I don't, this is a really small bush, actually, growing off the side of this, uh, there's an apple tree in amongst this somewhere, there's apple trees here, see how the apples are doing, anyways, just making a note, I need to, I do need to get on that really soon. I got some other things to do today, but um, but definitely there are apples. There's on this on this one, one of them. I think there's three trees here. They're old. They're dying. I don't think we got a lot of life left in them. Oh, there's some on that too. A little bird's nest up in there. How cute. But definitely, I'll show you the other mulberry trees here in a little bit. They're they're loaded. There's my meat chickens over there in the tractor. They're ready. They're beyond ready for butchering. But anyways, onward journey. Gonna, gonna have to definitely get back to this soon though and collect as many berries as we can. I'm gonna freeze them, I think. I said, uh, I like smoothies. And I can collect plenty of greens. And as long as I have some sort of sweet berry to go with them, and these would be great because it's hard to get the stem out of them, out of mulberries. When you pull them off, they still tend to, where am I at? Right here, am I in focus? They still, they still tend to have a little bit of that uh, stem on there. Which ain't too big of a deal, especially if it's a smoothie. Mm. Alright, onward.